Alright, today I'm going to be trying to install macOS Ventura Beta 4 on this MacBook Air with using virtualization technology. Yes, I'm going to be trying to virtualize it. This is not a tutorial. Don't take this as a tutorial. I'm doing this completely blindfolded, kind of. Uh, but we're going to try to do this. So, let's see if I can do this. This MacBook Air is already running macOS Ventura, but I'm going to install Beta 4 on it. So we're going to use UTM, which is a open source virtual machine software, and then it's fully optimized for Apple Silicon. So when you use virtualize, Mac OS 12 Plus, this works with Mac OS 12 and Mac OS 13, so Mac OS Monterey and Mac OS Ventura. And so we're going to use browse, and I have, this is the Mac OS 12.5 uh, partition that I had, or not partition, IPSW file. And we're going to be using Mac OS 13. This only works on Apple Silicon Macs. So it works on M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, M1 Ultra, and M2. And obviously, it will <laughs> work on T-shirt Apple Silicon Macs as well. So we're going to use open and hardware. Yes, I have 8 gigs of RAM in here. 4 gigs will work. Obviously, it will depend on how much RAM you have. You can, I recommend if you're going to do this. This is not a tutorial. But if you're going to do this, then make sure that you do at most half of your system's memory. You can do like uh, three fourths of your uh, system memory, but just to be safe, I'm gonna use half, 4096. This is eight gig system, so I'm gonna use 4096. Storage, uh, I did 20 gigs one time, that was a mistake, so I'm gonna do 30. Don't have, yeah, 30, I think it will be fine. And continue, we'll say Mac OS Ventura. Ventura, there you go and save all right so let's see if there's anything else i need to do i don't think things are good let me change this resolution to uh let's see which one should we do there we go macbook air and do high dpi for retina save and let's run the confirmation is like install mac os sure and now we are installing so this is gonna take probably like I'd say probably at least like 15 minutes or something like that so here we go installation let's wait for that they should be working because I did this one time with the 30 gigs and that was a mistake and it just immediately gave me an error saying that I will not be able to install and so it hasn't given me an error yet so this should be hey there we go it's working now we're nine percent 10%. Okay, so it's going by actually pretty decently fast. So uh, I'll be coming back once this is done. Uh, this will take probably a bit, but with the magic of video editing, we can do that right about. And look at that. We are done by the looks of it, hopefully. Uh, shows a black screen. Should be booting up here any moment now. <laughs> I guess we'll full screen this right now and it should be booting up any second millennium oh you just did something this will wait oh it showed something up there and there we are we have mac OS ventura we have the hello screen uh i don't know how to say that I don't speak that language I also don't know how to say that. I don't speak that language either. And I don't speak that language either. And I can, I can say that. Hola. Bonjour. Hello. Not going to try that. Anyway, we're going to go and set this up. So English. Yes, I speak English. Uh, next. It's a beach ball. <laughs> there we go. It's like your country, United States. Uh, you can change this later on. I don't really care about that. Accessibility. No, not now. Data and privacy, and I continue, and not now, it's not migrate. Apple ID, mm. I know that the virtual machine, which Apple I believe calls this the Apple Virtual Machine 1, this does not support Apple ID sign-ins, and so, yeah, I'm going to skip this and set up later, uh, skip, uh, terms of service, I have read them totally, um, Full name, I'm just gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna say test, 
account name will be test password and the, the picture let's do uh what photos do they have from here um suggestions um i said we'll do the gingerbread save continue enable location services sure continue analytics continue screen time set up later siri sure uh choose for me i guess now let's do voice. Okay. Um, we're gonna do not now. Let's not share all your recordings. Choose your look. Dark mode, obviously. There we go. Dark. Continue, and we should be done. There we are. Mac OS Ventura. Let's take a look at about this Merc. Yes, Apple Virtual Machine 1, Apple M1, Virtual 4 gigs of RAM. Um, yeah, and it shows up with an Apple Cinema display there. It's kind of interesting. And, yeah, you can see right there, it says 13.4 inches. It's supposed to be 13.3, but that says 13.4. It has to be resolution, right? So I guess that's good, I guess. Um... And there we go, we have macOS Ventura. Yeah, we have appearance, we have our stuff right here. Let me see, let me take a look at the wallpaper because they still, oh, they still don't have the dynamic desktop wallpaper. Like on Monterey, you have the Monterey uh, dynamic desktop where basically, basically what this says, oh, well, it switches there, it doesn't do the shortcuts, but basically, what the oh it has the genie effect there um that's interesting it basically it, this wallpaper will change depending on the time of day and your location but they don't have that yet on ventura but you know that's fine i guess for now um all right well let's try to look through some of the new features in beta 4 and compare it to beta 3 i guess let me look at the list of <laughs> the new features because i have no idea What's new? Is there any new screensavers? Is this still the Monterey one? I wonder if we're gonna get a Ventura one. I assume so, because having a Monterey screensaver in Ventura would be a little weird. But it looks like there's a lot of bug fixes here. Oh yeah, Stage Manager. I wanted to see this working because Stage Manager, oh, there's a pop-up for Stage Manager here. Um, yeah, let's enable that. So, Stage Manager, yeah, that shows up. So it works on four gigs of RAM. So there you go. It works on four gigs of RAM, even though Apple says that you need at least like eight gigs with iPad OS, but it works on four gigs of RAM. So there you go. Let's actually do a speed test just so we can see how it does uh, when it compares to something like uh, the native Mac OS. This is virtualized, so with half the amount of RAM. So let's see how it performs with the uh, being virtualized. All right, well, let's see if uh, there's anything with uh, performance. Let's see if the performance numbers are any great. Yeah, let's see later. And here we are, Virtual Mac 2.1. Let's run CPU benchmark and let's see how it performs. Virtualized with four gigs of RAM. And we have 1603 single core, 5637. Multicore. That's pretty impressive for virtual heist with half the amount of memory. Cool. And it looks like Windows Virtual Machines VMs in parallels might initially render black. And so I guess that was resolved in beta 4. Um, obviously, they can't test out Virtual Machine right now in here. But I was using it on beta 3, as you saw. And I'm currently using it on beta 3. And as you can see, it was running black for about like a, like a couple seconds. But apparently they fixed that in beta 4. And there's just a lot of, like, bug fixes. This mainly feels like a bug fix update compared to beta 3, which added things like the lockdown mode and things like that. So, yeah, it seems like beta 4 for everything today looks to be a bug fix update. So, there you go. That's Mac OS Ventura beta 4. Developer beta is out today. Public beta is coming out later on. You can install it on any Mac you see right here. And you can also install it as a virtual machine on Apple Silicon Macs with the IPSW file. I have the link to the IPSW file 
in the description um, it's universal for every Mac so you can restore it to any Mac if you have Apple configured it or two and so yeah there you go that's Mac OS Ventura beta 4 and that's the installation on an Apple Silicon Mac virtualized all right well there you go so now let's shut this bad boy down let's shut down let's not do that shut down and we are done here so that is mac os ventura beta form and install it on my main machine or main device right here and it doesn't show up for me right now nice all right well there you go that's it see you guys later bye